Welcome back, everyone. Great to have you here today on the Integrative Health Coach Success Podcast, where our topic of the day is going through specifically the three easiest ways to charge for your services. Now, we all know that there's a million different options out there in terms of the different packages you could offer or single sessions, whatever it might be. What I want to do right now is share with you literally 25 years of working with one-on-one clients clients, groups, et cetera, and being able to charge for those specific services. Because as I was taught many, many years ago, if you give people a hundred different options, not literally, but if you give people like even six different options, their mind is too confused. They are really looking for the best way to work with you. You have to understand is that when a person understands all of the different value that you bring them, and hopefully you tuned in even just last week of how you're able to solve those problems for your clients. Uh, If you haven't, or potential clients, I should say, head on over to ihp.coach forward slash podcast. And if you do that, you're going to find the previous episodes. And each week we are taking you through one aspect of being able to create the create the uh, health based practice of your dreams. Whether you are in the fitness industry or the health industry or the functional medicine industry, that's our goal, all for free on this podcast. And then each week we're bringing you an example of a successful practitioner, which we would love you to be able to learn from. Okay, so the goal on today's show, though is to understand that if you give people more than three options, if you give them ever more than three options in order to engage in your services, it's going to be very difficult for them to just make an easy yes, to say an easy yes, yes, I want to work with you. So what I'm sharing with you today are the three best options that we found over the years to be successful, not only for you, but also for your clients. Remember, the goal is to make sure that they're successful, right? If they're successful, they're going to be happy. Of course, they'll probably continue working with you in the future, but also they're going to give you many, many referrals uh, for their friends, and that's going to help you build your practice. So let's dive right in now to the three best ways, the three easiest ways to charge for your services. Now, the first one is my least favorite option. But there are times that you want to include it with your services. Okay, so you almost never want to provide this option for new clients working with you, okay? And you never want to provide this option if you are a personal trainer uh, that typically you know that it's going to take you at least 12 sessions or 12 weeks in order to get your client's results. So this is definitely not the best option. Don't even present it because honestly, it's, it's not that it's not worth your time. It's not worth your client's time. It's not worth your time. It's not worth anybody's time for a personal trainer to work with someone one time. I mean, what can you even really do for them in one session? session. The only time I've ever really done that as a personal trainer is that I had someone in from out of town and they just wanted to learn as much as they could with program designs, those types of things. And I would just make it like a two hour session. Like I would, I would really make it worth everyone's while. So I could teach them, we could write things down, we could demonstrate it and go through it. But really one off appointments as we'll call them, meaning like people just purchase one appointment with you is fine for like a general question and answer type appointment, or it's appropriate if you are an integrative health practitioner or a functional medicine practitioner, where you are saying, okay, you know, I'm going to review this lab with you, or I'm going to review previous plans with you, or it's a follow-up when you've already been working with them for the past couple months. That's when a one-off appointment is appropriate in order to be able to offer. But for the most part, it doesn't lead to consistency and results for your clients. So that's a big thing. Because we talked about this before. The number one thing for you to do is to get your clients' results. It's the best way in order to build your business because you'll get many, many word of mouth referrals that way. So number one thing you can do, of course, is get results, That which means what? You need consistency, which means that you really need to be speaking with your clients as an integrative health practitioner once per month at the late, like at the most, ideally it's every two weeks in the beginning, just for 30 minutes, but it's okay to do once a month. That's typically is what we do every four weeks. So we'll get into that in just a moment because that's more of the follow-up. So one-offs though, there's a time and place. They're fine for a follow-up appointment. They're fine for a general Q&A. They're fine as a complimentary get-to-know-you appointment. That works uh, fine as well. 
And what I would say, it's also fine when you are an integrative health practitioner level two, and you are offering uh, the labs as part as kind of like an all in one, and you're doing one appointment and they get the plan with you. But it also gives you the opportunity to then offer them some type of package after you speak with them. And of course, they see all of the tremendous value that you're adding and can give them with those follow ups. So Really, it's fine to do just in a few different cases, um, but certainly this is not something I would want to offer in general for most people. Even if you're a massage therapist, of course, most people are used to doing one appointment with you or maybe an acupuncturist, but really you want to make their you want to make it worth their while with this next option, and that's packages. Um, I have owned uh, multiple, so I've owned two large wellness practices in Boston. And before that, I consulted for well over a dozen different health spas, gyms, boutique studios, et cetera, in four different states. Maybe it was five, but it was, well, let's see, Massachusetts, Connecticut, Rhode Island, New York, and yeah, that's it. So four states. And what I was able to do was see a lot of different programs, a lot of different practitioners that I went to. And my job was to hire, train, and and hopefully make the staff better. And so sometimes it was wellness-based and massage and, and beauty and all of that. And then sometimes it was personal trainers, of course, nutrition, et cetera. But what I found was this, is that satisfaction for everyone goes up, meaning like job satisfaction for you goes up knowing that you have clients that are staying with you for at least the next, let's say 12 weeks or so. Okay. Satisfaction goes up for the clients because they know that they're almost, they're accountable, right? They have appointments, whether it's massage, acupuncture, personal training, uh, nutrition, fitness, et cetera, that they're meeting with you on a weekly, bi-weekly, whatever basis, monthly basis. So it, it is always in everyone's best interest. The clients may not know it yet, but it's in everyone's best interest to sign up for a package. What are packages? Well, packages, what we did in personal training, was one, two, or three appointments per week. Okay, all of our appointments were 45 minutes, and that was for 12 weeks. So the math is very easy, right? It is, what, 12 sessions, 24 sessions, or 36 sessions. That's it. And you can make payments monthly for three months, or you can pay up front. And then there was just one price per session, and you just went over the, the package that way. We didn't do discounts the more you bought, because I believe that that devalues your service. I really do. I don't think that there's any reason to give discounts your price, your, your just price is what your value is. Like that's what you're setting that. So for us, we always set it at $89 for a 45 minute appointment. That price has now gone up because that started way back in the early 2000s. So now I know that obviously, um, I think that I'm no longer, I don't have a personal training team, all that anymore, but I think that they're up to probably $99 per 45 minute um, session. And of course they do back to back sessions. So you can see that their earning potential is much greater. Uh, what's the, it's what $33 more so that they're actually charging about $133 per hour with back to back sessions for them. So I'll go over to the math. I'll go over to the math and the finances behind, um, uh, how you can make a great income in the future. So stay tuned for future podcast right now is the packages that you offer. And honestly, you can offer any price you want. So that's what we did in terms of personal training. Uh, when I had my big functional medicine center, massive center, you know, uh, we had, we also had Ayurvedic massage, we had therapeutic based massage, all different types. And all of that was on packages as well. So it was very, very simple. It was, um, it could be how many times per month do you want to come in? I mean, that's really all that it is. And we always did three months. We found that that was enough of a commitment on the client's end, but also not too much of a commitment on their end that they feel comfortable with that. And we would just break that down based on, uh, the number of massages. So they could, uh, they could purchase, uh, four, they could purchase just eight, they could purchase 12. So it's basically on a weekly basis, or they could also spread that over um, and they could do it every other week if they wanted to. And that was a really nice way to do it. And, um, and so that's what we did. So that was that, but it also guaranteed them their own time slots because people that sign up for a package rather than one-offs, which is a lot of times what you do in the massage based industry is that we gave preferential uh, treatment literally and preferential times to clients that had packages. So they got to book well in advance and they booked those up. And so that's what we did. And they also get advanced, uh, notice for all of the weekend appointments because weekends, uh, as probably many of you know, in the wellness based industry, uh, for massage, they go the fastest. So Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays 
we were closed Sundays, uh, but Fridays and Saturdays were always given to the people with the packages. And so that was another reason why you wanted to do that. Okay. So what do we do as integrative health practitioners, right? What do we do uh, for myself in a functional medicine, integrative health based concierge practice? Uh, and what do we do, you know, in general, what do we do to this day? Well, here's what we still do. We have basically a four appointment model. This is what I use in my practice and others use a three appointment model. They're both great, but um, I want to share with you what we do inside of IHP and what we teach inside of IHP as well. So many of you, of course, will already be familiar with that, but it's over six months. So it's basically four appointments over six months because that's about how long we found that it takes to use these four appointments, but they're charged for the first three months. So all of the four appointments are charged um, every 30 days for three months, and then they get to use them over the six months. So it's very, very simple billing as well. Uh, whatever you decide to charge is up to you. Um, we typically charge two ninety a month, so it's two ninety times three, but you actually get six months out of it. So it's it's a very nice uh, program because you get email support for those six months. Let me share with you exactly how it works. So, and again, most IHPs are charging between one ninety to two ninety uh, for those, uh, four appointments. Okay. Let me show you how it's broken down though. And then you can develop your own program within this because you don't have to copy our exact program. You're welcome to, uh, but you can simply model it and make it your own. So, uh, the first appointment is your consultation. This is a, this is a paid appointment. It's 60 minutes long and you're meeting with the health coach and you're discussing your whole health history as well as your goals. Okay. And at the end of that appointment, we are recommending a couple initial things to get started, uh, but we're definitely recommending lab tests that we recommend. It could be the big five. It could be just digestive based. It could be hormone based could be the starter kit. So that's what we do. And it's based on their needs, their goals, and also their finances. We only want to recommend things that are financially appropriate for them as well. So that's our first appointment. Now, we send out those labs and they get the labs in about a week or so. It takes most people one to three weeks to complete those. So really we're looking at a month um, from when they've completed them and then uh, we'll get those back in about three weeks. So their second appointment with us is about six to seven weeks later. So you see how kind of like there's a space right there that happens and there's not a lot of emailing back and forth at this time except support on how to complete the lab if they have any. All right, so not a lot of work is being done in between that um, on, on either party's end. And then the second appointment, we already scheduled that. So basically we say, hey, once you've mailed in your last lab, email us. We're going to set you up with an appointment for about three weeks from then uh, to four weeks because that's how long it takes us to get back to the lab and, of course, create your plan for you. So the second appointment is... If they didn't complain any labs, it can, it, the second appointment can be four weeks later if you want, or it could be two weeks later if you choose to, but you need to have enough time where they're actually being you know, billed for that second appointment. So that's what we do is we give them the wellness plan. But first, during that consultation uh, or during that appointment, they're actually getting their uh, lab results. So we give them their lab results. Again, you have to be an IHP level two certified practitioner or um, of course, you can be a um, naturopathic doctor a, or a licensed healthcare practitioner. Okay. So we're going through their labs and then we're giving them their recommended plan. Then that's great. So now they are getting set up with that plan. It might include nutritional supplements. So that might take a week for them to get those. We send them all the links. All right. And then when is our next follow up? Well, our third appointment is four to six weeks after that second visit. And this can be done in person, which I did it in person forever, right? For many, many years. And then in 2000 and uh, 18, I went completely virtual about, um, six months into 2018. It was completely virtual. Even though I had a practice in Boston, still, I still met with everybody over video. And that allowed me, cause I, I, um, before the whole pandemic hit, I was, uh, on stage, which I love speaking twice a month for eight months of the year. So it would allow me to travel and, and be in a hotel room and still do a consultation. So it's what I enjoy doing. And so that's what I did. Okay, so the next appointment, four to six weeks later. Why four to six weeks later, typically six? Well, it takes the client about a week to get their nutritional supplements, uh, you know, typically, what, three to five days, but then they, you know, they kind of have to ease into it, so they get into it, and we want them on the program for four weeks, and that's why we set it for four to six weeks later. But that's now a 30-minute appointment. The first two were an hour long. The third appointment is a 30-minute and then four weeks after that is another 30 minute. And what are these? Well, they're follow-ups. This is where they get tweaks to their plan, adjustments made just for them to customize it a bit more, to work on, okay, they might've been doing our 21 day elimination-based diet. Okay, now what are we adding back in? That's that second follow-up. And then um, the next appointment, which is 30 days after that, another four weeks after that, well, that's okay. Now it's okay. How are we going to maintain these results? How are we going to begin to wean off as needed? So, it's a really nice system. And what are you actually charging with? You're charging for three hours of your time. 
because the last two appointments are 30 minutes. That's always what I did. And it worked fantastic because for those follow-ups, you don't really need, I mean, most people don't need a full hour. You can definitely do a full hour. So that's why we have many IHPs doing uh, three 30 minute appointments. That's what they're charging for. So a um, sorry, three one hour appointments. They're doing a first consult for an hour, a second consult, uh, which is their plan that they're getting and their lab results. And then the third appointment is also an hour for a follow up. And then they can do one offs after that or sign back up for another hour every month. So there's many packages that you can offer, but I just wanted to share that with you. I love being able to do the longer one. They know they just need to make three payments or pay for the whole thing up front. Two ninety a month, that's not what I charge, but that's what our health coaching team charges. As you get more and more experience and more and more referrals, you can charge more if you decide to. So that's up to you. Um, but I charged uh, 190 when I first start, got started, 190 That was an hour of my time. And the email support's included. And then you can have uh, you can charge two ninety. Eventually, I charge two ninety, and then I charge four ninety, and then I you know went up from there. So you can charge whatever you want four ninety a month uh, for three months, and it's basically a six month program. Because if you look at it, you've got your first consult about six seven weeks later. So really, what are you looking at? Well, month three is when you're kind of starting that next appointment, and then four to six weeks later, okay, you're now you're at month four and a half, and then your last appointment is at month five and a half. So it's it's a really nice program. It works fantastically well. Feel free to model that for your practice if you choose to. But it's, again, it's just three payments, three payments of whatever you want to charge, or you can simply pay in full. And maybe if they pay in full, you might give them a 10% discount or so. Okay. All right. The last package is this. It's all inclusives. This is where I transition to from 2018 through today. It's a concierge based practice where everything is done for you. And this is for a higher end level of clients. But I know many um, medical doctors, many naturopathic doctors, many integrative health practitioners, and even many people in the fitness industry are moving towards more of a concierge-based practice. And that means it's a done for you. So you do everything that your client needs. So I'm just going to share. I always like to, I'm, a, I'm an open book. I really am. If you want to know anything, you can just ask. So here's the thing. Um, I opened this practice and it was six months long. I find six months is like the perfect time frame. You can definitely do an, a year long. Uh, most uh, concierge medical practices are 12, 12 months long and you pay dues up front and then you get your one-off visits if you want. It's not what I did. I charged $1,000 a month for six months. That was basically uh, my practice. However, three of the consultations were with me and three were with my head health coach. So I was, I was responsible for three hours in that program, but I also wrote all of the plans. I read all of the labs and my head health coach took all of the emails. So all of the email support. Um, but of course I answered all the questions that she didn't have the answers to, but I always tell people I'm not great with email support. I'm just not. And so I just know my strong suits. I know what I'm not. So I paid my head health coach for three of those consultations. I paid my head health coach for all of the email support. And again, I wrote up all of their um, labels. I wrote up all their wellness plans. I wrote up uh, any emails that needed to be answered that I didn't have the, that she may not have had the answer for. And, uh, and I did three of those hour long consultations. And actually their second appointment was 90 minutes because everyone got the big five labs included. The big five labs are technically $2,000, but we offer them at $1,490 um, at Equa.life. And that's what I recommend for everyone. That's what I run myself once or twice a year. And so that's what we did. And then if they ever needed to, we actually customized that for them. We would switch out a lab if we, if we thought it was more appropriate for them. And in a few cases, we even added an extra lab if we needed to, because again, this was a concierge practice. So everything was included for their $6,000 a month. Um, okay. And the very first time I did it was $900 a month for six months. And then the second time was just 6,000 and they could pay up front, um, or they could just split it over the months. It was their choice. So that was that. And so everything was included except their nutritional supplements. So all the email support, the six different calls, the, um, all of the big five labs, all of the written reports, everything was included. Now, many of my fellow integrative health practitioners actually include the nutritional supplements as well for three months. So what does that mean again? Well, let's go back to our plan. 
So you've got your initial consultation, you send them to the labs, all of those are included, then you have your consultation with them, then you send out all the nutritional supplements and you can do it for three months or four months, whatever you decide. And of course, many people are going to need them for longer, but you could just do three months if you wanted to. And then all you need to do is simply add on the cost of what it would cost you for those nutritional supplements. And again, it's completely done for you. And if I did this again in the future, I would do supplements included as well. And I would simply add on, let's say another other, um, I don't know, 300 to $400 a month, I would say, is what I would add on because it's going to be more upfront and a little less ongoing. So you, know, you might do, so you might just say uh, an extra $1,200 is what you might add for three months of supplements. 1500 maybe, 1600 for four months, however you decide to do it. Again, this is a higher level program, and I'm just giving it to you as an example because not everyone's going to be able to afford this, um, but many people will, and many people want this. So I offered this, and all of the spots were gone within one week. Like, literally, they were gone. And so many people do want this, but not, of course, everybody wants this. So what do we have? Well, we had this high-level concierge with me, but we also had levels at $290, which we still have right now at Equi.Life. Uh, forward slash health dash coaching, where you can work with our team for $290 a month. It does not include the labs and it doesn't include the supplements, but you get great world-class service uh, for that price. So we always have a price for everyone. We really do. So that is that. That's the three different offerings. And again, you should model them for you. So you have the one-offs, use those sparingly. For the next is the packages, those are the most popular. Whether it's the fitness industry, uh, massage, wellness-based, or integrative health practitioners, naturopathic doctors, etc., you've got a package. And it could last 12 weeks, which is what we typically do in fitness. It could last four months. It could last six months, uh, depending on what you're looking to do. Again, if you're an integrative health practitioner, all of this is inside of module one. Uh, sorry, it's inside of level one, module 10. And then for level two, we tell you how to do this uh, for your consultations as well. We do role playing for those consults and everything inside of level two. All right. And then when you've been, when you're comfortable doing packages and you're getting busier and busier and busier, and maybe you even hire someone on your team, well, then you might start doing more of these concierge, all inclusive packages, which again, for a certain level of clientele, they absolutely love it. And, uh, and you can begin to model your own program and maybe even add additional things as well. So hopefully today's show was helpful. Uh, we would love to hear from you how you're going to use this or how you're already charging or creating packages in your particular health and fitness-based uh, business. Feel free to comment below right on YouTube or on Instagram. Again, we would love to hear from you. Take care, everyone. And for all the show notes from today's show, go to ihp.coach forward slash zero one two. Have an amazing day. We'll talk with you soon.